what do you think is the one thing that ties together all of the metropolitan cities in the country? Economic development, infrastructure, facilities? Maybe, but more importantly, traffic. One of the most widely cited solutions to this problem is the use of public transport. But anybody who has ever taken a metro or a bus in a metropolitan city would know that it just isn't as simple as people make it out to be for a variety of reasons. But one of those reasons might just be payment. Let me explain. If you have to get from point A to point B, a lot of the time, you're going to have to take multiple modes of transport. You might have to take an auto to the bus stop, and then a bus to the metro station, and then a metro to your final destination. All of these modes of transport require different modes of payment. That might be a hassle for a lot of people. You might just decide to take a cab all the way. So the government figured, what if we were to streamline this process a little bit? Maybe that would incentivize people to use public transport. And so, they launched this. This is the National Common Mobility Card or the NCMC. It was launched in 2019 with the vision of One Nation, One Card. Ideally, you're supposed to be able to use this card for payments on a bus, in the train, as well as in retail outlets like petrol stations, toll gates and even in supermarkets. And it doesn't just work in Bengaluru, it works in 19 different cities across the country. So if you're a resident of Mumbai and you suddenly find yourself in Kolkata, you can use this card for the public transport there. How well does this card work? That's what I'm about to find out today. Let's go. Public transport is forever racing to keep up with the demands of a city. In Bengaluru, for example, we have a fleet of around 6,200 buses that make more than 57,000 trips a day. You might have seen Bengaluru's buses packed with people, with absolutely no space to move around. Clearly, we don't have enough buses. And after 15 years of construction, we have only two metro lines that cover a distance of around 74 kilometers. For reference, Bengaluru spans 741 kilometers square. So obviously, there are problems with public transport and its use in the city. Because if I have to go to place A to place B, but I have to walk 500 meters on the one side and 500 meters on the other side, then I am not going to use a public transport. That can be a one primary reason. And this is a very real problem. While agencies are busy trying to figure out the solution to this problem by increasing the number of buses that ply on the road or by increasing these buses' quality, one national level attempt was made in 2019, the NCMC, the National Common Mobility Card, a unified mode of payment that can be used across the board, local buses, local trains and retail outlets. Recently, I misplaced my regular Metro Smart Card and I stood in the line to get a new one. But they gave me this instead. And like I said earlier, I'm about to see if this card really works the way that it is supposed to. So I'm here at the Vidhan Sautha metro station and you just saw me scan the NCMC at the exit gates. The Bengaluru Metro Rail Corporation Limited has managed to incorporate this card into its system quite seamlessly. But the selling point of this card is that it's supposed to work in buses. But that bit, spoiler alert, hasn't happened just yet. Shivajinagar bus depot and I just spoke to our conductor. These buses are still equipped with the traditional ticketing machines. But by December 2023, the primary bus service provider, the Bengaluru Metropolitan Transport Corporation, was supposed to have adopted 8,000 new electronic ticketing machines, which are equipped to accept contactless payments, which include NCMC and UPI. But that didn't happen. We reached out to the BMTC but failed to get a comment by the time the story was ready to be published. 
And even when these machines are adopted, there is a good chance that they suddenly stop working in a moving bus because of network coverage issues, battery issues, typical problems that accompany electronic services. And if you haven't thought of a backup plan for when this happens, there is a good chance that you will be forced to deboard. All said and done, the implementation of this card is still on the table because multiple cities have managed to adopt the One Nation One Card scheme and some of these cities have managed to pull it off all the way. In Mumbai, for example, you can use the NCMC in buses, in trains, in retail outlets, the works. Here in Mumbai, there is a company called Chalo. They are tied with the BST. Uh, so they have introducing NCMC cards uh, for uh, BST buses. So I use that uh, card. Uh, so they have the regular card and the uh, NCMC card. And uh, the most of the time, the conductor in the bus, they have machines. Uh, you has, you had to just tap on that machine and uh, just tell them I have to go to so-and-so places. So based on that, he, he give you a ticket uh, using NCMC card. So I prefer to go with NCMC because I usually travel different states. You think that you know this is going to be a pan-India thing, so you sign up for it. I got it. The overall experience of uh, using it as a metro card is basically uh, flawless. It works just fine. Uh, and I was immediately stumped to discover that it wasn't being used even in the own metro parking in Chennai. So in the parking areas where you put your uh, uh, vehicles to park, you can use the old normal metro card uh, to make the payments for parking charges. But this one doesn't work for that. The other feature of this card, like I said earlier, is that it's supposed to work as a debit card in retail outlets. So does that part work? I'm about to check in a supermarket. Now, I just tried using this card in the supermarket and it didn't work. And I think I understand why. The problem lies in the recharge mechanism. Let's try to recharge this card and I'll explain what the problem is. First of all, if you want to recharge the NCMC, the regular Namma Metro app will not work. You need to install a separate app called the BMRCL app. So when you recharge an NCMC card, there are three different types of accounts in which your money can be stored. If it's an online account is when you can actually use the card in debit transactions. When the money is in your offline account is when you can use it in your metro. I think that all of my money was in my offline account, which is why I couldn't make a payment here. Now, in order to add funds to my online account, I'm going to have to go to top up, enter my amount here and hit top up. In order to transfer funds from my online account to my offline account, I'm going to have to hit fund transfer, enter the amount and then hit submit. And then I can also set a standing instruction and automate a certain amount of money to be transferred into my online account once a month. Now that I've topped up my online account, it should work. Let's go try it again. Well, that didn't work either. So I asked the guys at the metro station why this is happening and they don't seem to have a clue. If this card doesn't work in retail outlets and doesn't work in buses and only works in metro, then how exactly is it different from the regular smart card? How about other cities? How do the NCMCs in other cities work in retail transactions? Like the card can be used as a debit card or a credit card would be online to make purchases and it can be swiped at physical POS terminals on, uh, you know, at, at shops as well. But none of that has been enabled to my knowledge. I try on uh, recharging my mobile phone uh, with NCMC card. They have balance. So just you have to pay, uh, put is there like um, any other debit card. You just uh, put on your 16 digit number and uh, CVV number. That's it. Let me digress for a minute. How exactly do you buy metro tickets in your city? Last year, the Bengaluru Metro introduced the concept of QR tickets. So all you need to do is to purchase your ticket on WhatsApp on your phone and then scan a QR code at the AFC gates to make your way in. This method was beyond popular. More than 2,000 people tried it on the very first day of its introduction. And if you watch this video, you would know that you can also travel by bus using UPI, using the Tamak app. And of course, every single retail store around the city pretty much accepts UPI. So if you can A, travel by bus using UPI, travel by metro using UPI, and by anything you want using UPI, then what exactly is the point of this mobility card? 
To answer this question, we are going to have to zoom out a little bit. Remember, this card can be used across 19 different cities in the country. So, does a Mumbai NCMC card work in Kolkata? I have used this Bangalore card in uh, 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 Mumbai. Okay, so like it, it's very simple. Like I have simply loaded it uh, once in the Bangalore metro station for say some 400 bucks. Uh, whenever I travel in Bangalore, I simply use it. Uh, when I'm in Mumbai, mostly uh, I hop down uh, any metro stations. I can simply use the same card I can use in the Mumbai metro as well as in the Delhi as the same. So it, it's like very, very convenient for me. I use in Goa, uh, basically, while uh, coming back to Mumbai. It works that time. So I come to Nokia, okay, this system is work on uh, Goa also. Maybe the ones they issue in Mumbai work flawlessly across the country or in Mumbai. But this one did not work for me in Mumbai. I actually visited the metro station uh, in Sakinaka just to be able to see if this card works and it did not let me pass through the gate. Now the one advantage that this card has over UPI is that you, the rider, don't need an active internet connection in order to use this service. So if you are somebody who doesn't use a smartphone for example, this would be very useful. But you still need to recharge the card and there is still a lot of confusion about online accounts and offline accounts and how to transfer between these accounts and you just saw that no matter what I did, I simply could not make a payment using this card at a supermarket and the metro station, they didn't know what to do. The concept of one nation, one card makes a lot of sense. Instead of carrying a bus pass, a metro card and a debit card, all you'd have to do is carry one single card. Especially if you're somebody who travels a lot. Sounds great, but it doesn't work properly just yet. Once the recharge interface becomes a little bit more streamlined, this card could be a winner.